this is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Wednesday, December the 22nd, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, everybody? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Cutting the deck for the collective. Spirit. One of the deck, ten pentacles. Ultimate financial abundance. First card out. The King of Wands, King of Passion. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's dragons on this border. He's got his wand in his hand. Got a crown. This looks like he's wearing armor. The cape. He is the King of Wands, the King of Passion. Good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy and exciting. What is crossing this? The Emperor, the Emperor, this is Aries energy, the Emperor. The Emperor is divine, masculine, independent, sitting in his throne, sitting in his power. He has some kind of antler crown here. He's got this beautiful scepter. I like the uh, metal high gold colored boots. Um, he, his dog, he is divine, masculine, independent, he can come off as my way of the highway. He may be stubborn, but he doesn't put up with people's crap. Aries energy. Consciously known. Ooh, passionate new communication. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. See all these wands flying through the air? This is passionate communication. This could be text messages. Uh, messages on social media, messages on dating sites, passionate communication, and usually rapid. Texting back and forth, back and forth. Unconscious. The judgment, karma, positive karma is coming your way. I don't know what she's playing, but she's playing music. Reminds me of a Pied Piper. Recent past. The Three of Cups. Cups are water energy, Count Spicy Scorpio. This talks about happiness, friendship, reunion. It's three people having drinks, probably haven't seen each other for a while. I got a black, white, and kind of orange cat over here. Happiness, friendship, reunion. Near future, Ten of Swords, end of a painful cycle. Hmm. Were you involved in a third party situation? End of a very painful cycle. This person's been stabbed in the back ten times. Only good swords are energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. The only thing good about the Ten of Swords is the pain is the pain is over. It's only getting better from here on in with new honest, clear communication. Where do you find yourself? The sun, Leo energy, happiness, joy, bliss. There's three people dancing around in the sunflowers, beautiful sun shining on top, happiness, joy, bliss. External influences. The empress, we have a power couple here, soulmate energy. The empress, she is divine feminine. She's independent. She's usually shown sitting on a throne, sitting on her power. She knows her worth. She does not get out of her throne for anybody or anything. Um, she's pregnant. I got two pregnant cards here. Always birthing new ideas. You might have a pregnancy in your family. Uh, also, new ideas regarding uh, passionate endeavors. Maybe money-making ideas. The Empress. Hopes and or fears. The Death card. Again. 
This is Scorpio energy, death and rebirth. This is the end of a painful cycle. And another cycle will be coming like the butterfly out of a cocoon. Death and rebirth, Scorpio energy. Overall outcome, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. She's loving, caring, compassionate. She's a nurturer. She's a good parent. She's a good partner. But, oh, it looks like she's pregnant too. I feel like that's three pregnancy cards. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. This is ultimate financial abundance. There is the house. There's the happy couple. Teenager, perhaps. Uh, Preteen, toddler. Cats, dogs. Property, ultimate financial abundance. Knight of Cups, the lover. Cups are water energy. Can't spicy Scorpio. The lover. He is charming. He's handsome or pretty. Uh, a sweet talker. Comes at you. Here's my cup. Romantic. But he can be inconsistent energy. Might have a trail of broken hearts behind him. Five of Cups. Maybe that's the broken hearts right there. You are sitting here on the sand and you're looking at these three spilled cups. Cups of water energy, can't spicy Scorpio. But there's two cups on the table behind her. Once she gets over this and turns around, we have soulmate energy over here. And we had soulmate energy with the emperor and the empress. Nine of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Nine of Wands. This is called the Wounded Warrior. She has battled through all of these witches. She got her wand up. She's tired. Been to the battle. Expecting more of the same. But she's still going to persevere. And she's going to come out on top. And the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Communication. Swords are energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Person wants to communicate with you. Um, swords are all about honest, clear communication. So this is new, honest, clear communication. But the Knight of Swords, he is a less mature energy than a king or a queen. And he, will, he can come off as blunt, brash, abrasive, and can rush in and out of your life. Another inconsistent energy. We had the King of Passion. We had the Emperor, Divine Masculine. We had the Empress, Divine Feminine. Passionate New Communication. Positive Karma. Friendship. Keep in mind, oh, that might be third party. Happiness, Joy, Bliss. End of a Painful Cycle. Beginning of a new one. The Queen of Cups. Ultimate Financial Abundance, The Lover, Night of Communication. We had Ten of Swords, the end of a very painful cycle. I'm picking up Death again. End of Cycle, beginning of a new cycle. Being broken hearted for a minute. Being tired been through the battle but still you're going to persevere Let's see what else. the oracle cards go the distance somebody's going the distance here not for you Bottom of the deck, come to the edge, take a leap of faith. Leap of faith is kind of after the death. This is the fool. This is a new journey. Let's see what the love cards have to say. If 
Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You are Ten of Pentacles. Is somebody um, after you for your money? It's possible. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. The Hierophant, commitment, engagement, marriage. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor again. Divine Masculine, sitting in his throne, sitting in his power, knows his worth, can be stubborn, with a my way or the highway attitude. So we had the king of passion, the emperor and the empress, passion and new communication, positive karma, friendship. There's friendship and reunion here. The Sun, Happiness, Joy, Bliss, the Queen of Love, Ten Pentacles, the Lover, Go the Distance, whatever this ending was, that person, uh, whatever that is, is not for you. Come to the Edge, Take a Leap of Faith. Finances and Career, Reconciliation. Very soon, the Hierophant and the Emperor. Well, I'm going to call this someone you know must be pregnant with those three cards. All right, everybody, I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great evening. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye for now. Please like, share, and subscribe.